Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're going to learn to avoid some mistakes and we're going to learn how Americans really talk. First, this is not correct. And another thing that you might have noticed when we say what do, so we have T at the end of the word what and we have D at the beginning of the word do, we kind of invent a new sound here. Instead of saying what do you do, we say what you do. So there is a sound ch which uh, appears in the middle. Again, this is a way to make your speech smoother and this is what all native speakers do. For example, what you do for a living. What you do for a living. What you do. What you do or what you do is not a correct pronunciation for what do you do. What do you do is pronounced like this. What do you do? What do you? What do you? Making a fast D. Not do, but duh. What do you? What do you? What do you do for a living? So what do you do for a living? I work construction. Local residential. So uh, what do you do for a living? Mm, I'm a writer. Let's talk about the question. What do you do? If someone says, so what do you do? It's a question for job. They're asking you what your job is. But they can also say, what do you do for a living? For a living is just extra. You don't have to say it. So the two questions are, what do you do? Or what do you do for a living? The for is pronounced for, for a, for a living. So what do you do for a living? This is a question, what is your job? For a living means like for money. So pronunciation, what do you do? What do you do for a living? I'm a teacher. I'm a YouTuber. What do you do for a living? Very good. Let's hear some examples. Daddy, what do you do when you go away for work? Well, what do you do then? I remember thinking, now what do you do when you love something but it stops loving you back? So what do you do now? Now let's talk about what'd you do with the j, j sound, like jump and juice. What'd you do? What'd you do is a pronunciation for what did you do. When asking a question about the past, for your past actions, Question, what'd you do? What'd you do yesterday? What'd you do last weekend? What did you do can be pronounced, what'd you do? You don't have to pronounce it like this. You can say, what did you do? And that's fine. But you will hear, what'd you do? I can't, where's the aspirin? What'd you do? What'd you do to your face? What'd you do? What'd you do that for? So what'd you do today? So what'd you do today, Dad? Well... What did you do with the body? What did you do to him? So what did you do today? What did you do with the leads? What did you do yesterday? Yesterday I went to the store. What did you do yesterday? Very good. And now let's talk about what you do. Making the ch, -ch sound like chicken. What you do. This is completely different. This is not correct what you do. But you can say what you doing. What you doing. And this is the pronunciation for what are you doing? What are you doing is correct pronunciation, but sometimes people say what you doing? So what you doing is correct pronunciation for what are you doing? The clip that she used of the cartoon of the little girl saying what you do was cut short. What you do for a living? What you do for a living? What you do? The complete phrase was what you doing? And this is a phrase she says all the time on this TV show. The TV show is Phineas and Ferb. And this girl always asks the same question when she sees the two boys. She always says, what you doing? What you doing? Let's hear the complete clip. Hey, Phineas. Hey, Isabella. What you doing? Building a roller coaster. In your backyard? Some of it. Wow. Hey, Phineas. Oh, hey, Isabella. What you doing? Building a beach. Check it out. Oh, hi, Isabella. What you doing? We're entering the Swamp Oil 500 today. Hi, Phineas. What you doing? It's a surprise. Can I help? We could use a lookout. You got it. Hey, Phineas. What you doing? Verb and I are working on designs for our new clothing line. Take a look at what we've got so far. Very impressive. So never say what you do. It's what you doing. It's what are you doing. Reduced what you doing. Hi, Tracy. What you doing? What you doing in here? What you doing? Paul has an interview. I'm just tagging along. Hey, baby. I was about to hang up. What you doing? So today I'm cleaning my house. What about you? What you doing today? 
Very good. Another use of whatcha is what you've been doing. What you've been doing is a reduction of what have you been doing? What have you been doing? You can reduce it to what have, what have, what have you been doing? It's a question from the past to the present. A question for your action. It's a question from the past to the present. What have you been doing? What have you been doing? Or some people say, what you been doing? What you, with a ch sound like chicken, what you been doing? What you been doing? What you been doing this morning? Have what? The report. What have you been doing? What you been doing? You lost weight. What have you been doing here? Let's practice. I haven't seen you in a long time. What you been doing? Very good. Or I can use whatcha with what you've been up to. This is another way to ask the same question. This is the same question. What you've been up to is the same as what you've been doing. Up to is in place of doing. It's the same structure. What have you been up to? Reduced, what have you been up to? It's a question for your actions. The same as what have you been doing? And you can reduce it more. You can say, what have you been up to or what you've been up to? People say both. What have you been up to? Nothing. What have you been up to lately? What have you been up to lately? What have you been up to? Hey, so what have you been up to <laughs> lately, Charlie? Uh, what have you been up to? What you been up to? My own business. They're both correct. Pronunciation. What you, what you been up to? Let's practice. I haven't seen you in a long time. What you been up to? Very good. So remember, question for job, what do you do? Or what do you do for a living? Never whatcha, never whatcha. It's what do you, what do you do? What you do is good for a question about past. What did you do or what'd you do? What'd you do yesterday? And whatcha is always used with a continuous action, with ing. In the present, what you doing? What are you doing right now? Or in the future, what you doing tomorrow? Or talking about continuous action from the past to the present with questions like what you've been doing or what you've been up to. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.